about the others You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away quick update it is Sunday evening April 7th I don't think I did very much vlogging yesterday I did absolutely no vlogging today because today was the busiest day ever <laughs> um, we had to drive out 45 minutes away from us for a lodge pancake breakfast that Joe needed to go for um, it wasn't his lodge, but nobody from Joe's lodge was going, and we needed to at least, he needed to at least show face. So we drove out and did the pancake breakfast, and then came back. I did a little bit of CRW stuff before heading to the wake, and we were at the wake for pretty much the entire time um, to support my stepdad um, and my mom, and um, it, it was it was exhausting to be perfectly honest it was so exhausting being there um, it reminded me a lot of being at my grandma's two years ago um, but it is what it is so I just got off of my live stream I should have probably canceled it but um, I was able to get some words in I was able to get 637 words during the live stream I ended it early um, I just didn't have it in me. Um, I am going to grab my laptop and bring it out to the living room and set up shop out there and see if I can at least get another like 400 to another 600 words in, crossing my fingers. Um, I've also decided to try for the words again. I remember really liking it in August of 2022 when I first tried it for the first time. Um, I don't know why I stopped. However, I feel like since I am pantsing this story, I think the only way for me to be able to pants it well is if I gamify it. Because the past few days when I've been sprinting, the word counts are not as high as normally like if I have like some sort of guideline of where the story is going. So I think the only way to overcome that is to gamify it. And so I'm trying for the words again. So you might be seeing a lot of for the words uh, B-roll. Um, it's been a day. I need to go. <laughs> I just wanted to do a quick update. Hopefully I'm going to get some more words in. Um, if not, then I only got 637 words today, which is fine. Um, another big win is from days one through seven, I only missed one day of writing and that feels really really good so I'm taking that as a win all right I'm gonna update you guys tomorrow <laughs> You see the moon? Yeah. Why okay. you, you know, why are you all red? Why is why are you moon in it orange? The moon's turning orange? Yeah. There's like an orange halo around it? Yeah. Well it's cause that's the the sunlight. It's super eerie, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
Monday, April 8th, around 2.44 in the afternoon. Um, the total eclipse of the sun um, has already reached its totality moment for my area. Um, where I'm from, we were able to get 97%, um, which was really, really cool. Um, I know Southern Illinois was able to get like full totality. Um, it got it didn't get as dark as I had expected it to get, um, but it was like eerily creepy, but in such a cool way. And then um, it got chilly, like it's been in the 70s all day. And the closer that it went to, as it, the closer I went to, to, uh, to totality, it got chillier and it was so eerily creepy, um, but so beautiful, so beautiful. Um, my daughter is currently sick. She has a fever. She was sent home this morning from school and she can't go back to school tomorrow. So, um, it's going to be an interesting couple of days. Um, I just got back about an hour ago from my stepdad's mother's funeral. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been a very long couple of weeks and I am going to go get into comfier clothes um, and hopefully get some writing done. But I wanted to at least do a quick little update before I start writing. Um, I did take a couple of videos, or no, I think I did a video of my son um, looking at the, at the sun when I picked him up from school. And yeah, I'm just... I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Um, but yeah. Okay. I'm going to update you guys when I have more writing stuff to update you on. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love that's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have 
Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. T-shirts, so it smells like her perfume. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. quick outro because um this writing vlog has taken up way too much time um i think it's going on close to two weeks and it's mostly b-roll clips so it's a very cozy write with me type of writing vlog then and update you on everything that's going on um i do not know how many words i have written since april 5th because um, I do have the 6th, 7th, and 10th 
written down in my spreadsheet, but I don't have anything else because there was a lot of times where I was doing brainstorming and I wasn't sure if I should count those in as my words written. I probably will, but I got to figure out how many words I did and on what days before I can put it into the spreadsheet. Um, so I have to do that. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what my word count is at the moment for April camp edition of the Wordy Writer Challenge. So there's that. Um, it has been an incredibly busy couple of weeks um, for stupid reasons. Um, lots of funerals in the past couple of weeks and it's it, it, I'm, and not to mention both my kids got sick in the past two weeks um, and they're finally like on the mend and better and I'm starting to get back into a routine again and it is so hard to get back into a routine when it's been broken. Um, so I am currently live streaming. I had to quickly do an outro video so that I can edit this vlog and set it up for a for today because I want it to go live. I wanted it to go live earlier this morning and so that I can start the next uh, writing vlog and hopefully be a little bit better with this next writing vlog. So with that being said, I hope the Wordy Writer Challenge is doing well for you if you are joining us. Um, if you are joining us, let me know down in the comments on how you're doing, what you're working on. Um, but yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It does help support my channel and it lets me know that you like this kind of content and it also helps with the algorithm so other people can see this video. And if you're not a subscriber and you would like to, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate and love you forever for it. But until next time, happy writing. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. Hey, it's not right or wrong. It's about trying.